The chairman of the MOA Trust, Philip Ehanacho, explains the outline of the MOA project to stakeholders drawn from the public and private sectors. You will recognize Zossi Street here. Uh, but there are going to be a lot of things that you will not recognize. Mr. Hienacho breaks down the objective of the proposed West African Museum. So one of the things that at the heart of this project is to try to use the culture of Benin as a way of establishing Benin as a center for creative arts and creative industries. The Convention on Restitution of Stolen Benin Artifacts between the Federal Government of Nigeria and various museums around the world has become public knowledge. For Governor Godwin Obaseki, MOA is beyond the facility to house Benin artifacts, instead an institution to showcase the rich Edo cultural heritage to the world. So it's just beyond a few, I mean, some, several pieces of work artworks. No, it's beyond that. It's using that as, as you say, Christianity, the contact points to bring in out the rest of who we are. There's a whole work, a, bit, a lot of research that still needs to be done. We can't have things about us being explained to us from Europe. He adds that the MOA project has been thoroughly worked out to see the light of day. Whatever issues, whatever questions, just ask so that, and whatever support we can now lend to the team, Let's do, because we must start the work this year, and by the time we're leaving in 2024, we should have.